Okay, I'll need to have some interesting experiments here. Uh, they have to do with the QEG. Now I have this old piece of uh, uh, iron, which is from a motor. Uh, I just actually uh, put this little coil, uh, which has no core, uh, just in here, just for the fun. And uh, this is the scope signal. I'll watch if I touch touch this this thing here. Now watch if I rub it just like this. Now watch the scope. Now isn't that interesting? Now I'd say I use iron. Rub it with the iron. Tick with the iron. Just ticking like this. But if I rub it, that's really giving a lot of energy. That's interesting. Eh? Also, make this. And I can do the same sort of things with that. Now, say, is it the noise? Because if I rub it, ticket rubber hammer well not very much happens rubbing it doesn't work I rub it with my finger a little bit and if I take aluminum oh, look at that that works I can take copper that works very well and iron works best and I've got some RVS uh, also, as long as it's metal, I'll take here a piece of plastic. That doesn't do much. So, I'll take a piece of wood. Nothing. So, uh, it is a very interesting. Now look at this. Look at this signal. Just rubbing it a little. I have no force at all. I'm only touching it when I'm just moving it slightly. Just a little bit, no force at all. But look at the power. It's amazing. Now, of course, this is not megawatts or something, but I can imagine if you do this the right way, you can with very little energy, you can get a lot out there. Okay, put on some light, although with the lights on I get some odd results because it's pretty recent light. And you can see on the scope here, I'm getting immediately a signal. What I did is I put on the scope a little coil here. And I have this new formed iron profile hanging in the air and as you can see if I pick it there's clearly some energy what I did just some pieces of iron and welding rods or oh, let's say put a drilling the drill and look at the signal resonating so iron on iron resonating like the QEG it does work and the chimney I actually have to put the light out because it's already receiving a lot of junk but as you can see there's nothing in the coil now now not much happens Great doorbell. What did that? What leads to go and say? Ring the bell twice. Oh, no. maybe it's something like that. So, also interesting. Take the copper rod here. Just rub it. Look at that. 
first rabbit. And so you can do that with anything. It's a wood. Ticket works. Rubbing does not work. It does not have a with iron. Big iron stick. It does with copper. It's not plastic. Just one more thing. Picking. Nothing happens. Because there's nothing in the coil. But now watch. I have this piece of RVS. And I'm just rubbing it. And look at that. It's like playing the violin. Make some noise. Uh, that's interesting. Now, if I use several metals, metals like uh, when I rub it with a rock or tick it with a rock, it's hardly anything. So I have a really too hard, but it's not really anything. If I take wood, tick it, rub it, not much happening. If I take copper, or brass, whatever. Look at that, just rubbing it, picking it in a nice bike. So that's interesting. Now, every metal seems to do something. So I have some aluminum, and you can see rubbing it, ticking it, it's giving a good signal. Now, I'd say, what if I put this on the aluminum? And I'm rubbing the aluminum. Well, not much happens only when I pick it because the between the aluminum and the metal is doing something. So if I just rub or take this whole thing, it does something, but not much. As you can see here, I rub this whole thing out of the aluminum, then not much happens. Now that's interesting. Well, if I put the copper directly on this, Something happens, but if I put the aluminum around, well, that's interesting. Well, if I change it, put it on top, also not much is happening. But if I take it like this, I get a good vibration. And it really works. So maybe the same for copper. I think I can get some copper. Some printed circuit board here. Same thing. If I rub it over this board, nothing happens. But same thing on the other side, nothing happens. But if I do it like this, just on the side, it does do something. Well, that's some very good results with some. Uh, RVS and then you know, like playing the violin. Uh, look at that. It's a good signal. But as you can see, there is already <coughs> some sort of signal that this coil is picking up. But uh, the funny thing is, if I rub it, See that this is getting bigger at about the same frequency. I'm just rubbing it here, taking some paper in my hands here so that I'm not touching it because it might be of influence. It's interesting. Now I also put a core in here. See what happens. My signal is gone almost. I rub it. I'm getting something, but it's actually not better. We have to tune it by putting it somewhere halfway in or so. If 
faster you rub it and the harder you rub it, the more it is. coil in here. Uh, with uh, a core, I'll show you later. But look, like that, that, that signal is also a bit like the other one. But if I rub it, look at this, and it's at the same settings as before. But it's a lot more of this energy. So I've put it in here, in the middle of this. Now look at this. It's just a little something I made once. If I put it on top, it's less. There's way more when I put it in here. Well, that's interesting. Not so much now, so it's probably okay, a little more interesting. I just connected the wire to the iron, and in series I put a coil because I need some impedance. And I put it on another piece of the iron. Now watch it, just touching it. And this is on a very high setting. I mean, this is a lot of voltage. This is really a lot of voltage. I'm just rubbing it. Look at that power. It's just ringing this. Now, uh, of course, you can play. This is really some power. It's just in the eye. Very high impedance coil. That's the primary side of a transformer. Uh, it's in the minus line. Look at that. This is very high setting. High frequency. This is high frequency and high impedance coil. coil. But it has to be in the minus in the scope to see this. Only when I touch the iron, just the coil in series it doesn't do a thing. If I make it connect the iron, just like that, just touching the iron, look at that. Spikes like crazy. Nothing special. Just rub it a little. Now connected the minus of the scope to the iron. Really, it doesn't do so much. It does do something, but way not as much. So not connecting it doesn't do anything. If I connect plus to the iron, then you get it. Okay, Jim. One, one more thing. Uh, I've got my high impedance coil here. Close to the iron, but uh, sort of the plus of the scope connected to the iron. That is nothing until I play the violin here. And uh, just to show you, it's about 20 to 30 volts because it's 10 volts per division. And uh, let's see. If the frequency, if I set that a little bit higher, so there you can see what sort of signal I'm getting. And you can see at the beginning that it's going well, at least 30 sometimes 40 volts, so that's something.